Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 6 of Book 5. Now in this proposition, we start off with two lines, A, B, and C, D, which are equal multiples of E and F, respectively. We take a subset of each line, A, G, and C, H, where they are also equal multiples of E and F, respectively. And the remainders, G, B, and H, D, are either equal to E and F, or they are equal multiples of E and F. So let's begin our proof. So we have our initial conditions. A, B, C, D are equal multiples of E, F. A, G, C, H are equal multiples of E and F. We're going to start our proof by assuming that G, B is equal to E. Now it could be a multiple of E, but we're starting off with it equal to E. Let's draw a line KC that is equal to F. Now if you remember proposition two, if you have two lines that are multiples of one line and another two lines that are multiples of F, if you add them together, they will also be equal multiples. So we have A, G, and C, H are equal multiples of E and F, and you have G, B, and K, C, which are equal multiples of E and F. So if you add them together, they will also be equal multiples of E and F. But we know that A, B is equal to N times E, so K, H will still be that multiple of F. So A, B, and K, H are not only equal multiples of E and F, but they are the original multiples of A to B. Now, CD is equal to NF. Well, KH is also equal to NF, so consequently, KH and CD are equal. KH, CD, they are equal. So starting with KH equals CD, let's subtract CH from both sides of this equality. Well, what is KH minus CH? That's just this line here, KC. What's CD minus CH? It's just this line here. So we end up that KC is equal to HD. But KC was, shown, was started off to be F. So if KC is equal to HD and HD is equal to, sorry, if KC equals HD, and Kc is also equal to F, Hd is equal to F. So here we have shown that if we start with the assumption that Gb is equal to E, then it, Hd has to be equal to F. Now we can use all of these same arguments, where instead of assuming that Gb is equal to E, Gb is equal to some multiple of E, then we draw KC as equal to the same multiple of F, and go through the same arguments, and we will end up demonstrating that GB and HD will be equal multiples of E and F. Same logic as before. And that is the proof that if we start with equal multiples of E and F, we subtract equal multiples from both lines, the remainders will also be equal multiples of E and F. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.